Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are on I-94, just north of the 90-94 split, getting off the highway here at 143, heading to Toma. There are 13 DC fast chargers, basically in the same parking lot. And so we are calling this stop the Toma Trifecta. We've got four uh, machines from Electrify America, two 350 kilowatt, two 150 kilowatt. We've got eight V3 250 kilowatt Tesla superchargers and one classic Zeph Energy ABB 50 kilowatt machine. It is amp limited for Ultium battery uh, sufferers like the Equinox EV. Uh, so you'll get less than the max uh, reported 50 kilowatts. So first stop is Electrify America. It is in this Walmart parking lot. Let's get charging. So here we are in uh, Toma at uh, our first stop and we're at the Walmart. They're actually resurfacing the parking lot right now. So uh, yeah, I guess that'll be nice once it's done, but it's kind of uh, hectic right now. Um, the worst part about this location is how close it is to the path of traffic. Like basically cars are buzzing your back bumper as they're going through the Walmart parking lot. So uh, heads up if you uh, see that or when you get here, pull in as far as you can because uh, cars are whipping past you. But all right, so let's uh, plug in. I've got uh, the Pass Plus. So we're gonna get a little bit of a discount. Charger two and swipe to start. So nobody's here, so I took the 350 kilowatt charger. Um, if somebody else, or if I had any other options, I'd probably go to a 150 just because this thing won't always uh, enjoy the fruits of a 350 kilowatt charger like some other car as well. So uh, with the Pass Plus, this is only 36 cents per kilowatt hour, so pretty good. We're at 52% to start, and uh, yeah, here we go. So jumping right up to, well, not jumping anywhere yet. Okay, it's taking the slow road to Chargeville. We're working our way up to 50, hopefully. These machines are pretty old. Yeah, 2018 uh, is when they were manufactured. So they are original stuff. 46 kilowatts, I'm a little disappointed, even though we're at uh, 52 percent so expected speed I'm gonna go thumbs down Nana cable this thing is actually very easy to move let's go over here since we're already plugged in um, I mean it's heavy but it's you know movable it's not very long you know this is like getting to the back door of my car so and that way they're not long um, after being at the uh, Oak Creek um, location for Electrify America and seeing their new equipment, I would love to see an upgrade of equipment for here. All right, yeah, we are not going anywhere speed-wise. Uh, as we said, Nana Cable is a thumbs up. Uh, expected speed, no. Um, minimal hassle. I love Electrify America's app because it's just boom, you're on there um, and it works. So minimal hassle, thumbs up. Amenities, I mean you're in the parking lot of a Walmart. Uh, there's also some restaurants across. We're going to stop in a few minutes at the Tesla supercharger over there and there's also one that I can see from Zeph Energy um, that's a 50 kilowatt charger. So we're going to show you all three at the Toma Trifecta um, before we leave today. As far as amenities go, um, it's loud with this uh, construction going on. There's a quick trip right down the road. So as far as amenities go, I'm going to go thumbs up uh, for this location, despite the fact that you have to basically take your life into your hands 
to walk through this parking lot uh, with as busy as it is, even when it's not under construction. Okay, well, let's get on to uh, part two of our trifecta. Good to go, it says on here. Thanks. All right, we will see you over at the Tesla charger. All right, so uh, there's an Equinox next to us, and it was pulling 150 normal, normal speeds. So I plugged back in, and uh, I got some better speeds. We were up at 90 or so, which for 58, 57% uh, is not too bad. Um, so I'm gonna still go thumbs down for expected speed, but um, yeah, so it was a little bit better than terrible. So we're gonna get out of here because there is a, a Hummer EV that wants to charge. So let's, let's finish up and move over to the Tesla. It's a little quieter over here too. Um, okay, so I thought I was gonna be in good, good shape uh, as far back as I pulled um, because this one's set up on the side, but I don't really like how far we're gonna have to go with this. So I'm gonna back up a little bit more. Uh, I, think this, I think we're gonna be good this time. Good click on the adapter. Not really a good click with the car. So we're going to use the uh, in-app um, setup here through Chevy. Connectors, we're on 2D at the end, and we're going to start charging. Charging in progress, it says. There we go, the car thinks so too. So, let's see what we're gonna pull on this station. 40, 50, we're already higher than the uh, Electrify America next door. Over 100. Settled down to 95. 94, so uh, pretty good speed. Expected speed, thumbs up on this Tesla. Um, minimal hassle, like I'm very happy that they put this one on the side so I could back into it and not take up two, but um, the cables are so short. I'm gonna, that to me is the hassle here. Um, so it's like in a spot where you still could, I guess, reach the Tesla port if you backed in. I'm gonna go minimal hassle, thumbs down. I just, for some reason, I'm not feeling this um, station today. And since I've got so many choices, I can do what I want. All right, so we're still pulling 90. Um, I could have parked and taken up two spots, but I figured now I'll just take the one. Um, Nana cable, these things are, besides being short, they're very easily and controllable. It's almost like the cables over there on the gas pumps at Quick Trip. Um, very easy to, to control. So, thumbs up for Nana cables. Uh, amenities, so uh, here at part two of the Toma Trifecta, uh, we're actually a lot closer to Quick Trip, and uh, there's also some restaurants in here at the Cranberry Heartland Mall or whatever. So. Um, yeah, we're even closer to amenities, so thumbs up for that. So I'm going to press stop here in the car, and we are going to be ready to go. Head over to part three of our trifecta. See you at the next charge in the same parking lot. Part three of our single stop in Toma. Zeph Energy, this has been here since 2018, we just saw. And uh, let's see, oh. Man, this cable is super easy to move. Let's see how long it is. Before we plug in, let's see how long we can get this thing. 
All right, so we could park, pull in head first, and this would still go in the back corner. Uh, this machine has definitely seen uh, a few few winters, but Nana Cable, thumbs up. This thing is thick, but uh, Rima Cable, you done good. Thousand volt. Well, it's lasted seven years, so so far so good. All right, let's plug in. Uh, this one has the Chatamo plug. The Electrify America station also had a Chatamo. So, all right, let's see. Last time it took us like six times to get the charge to start with the Zep app, but one tap, that's minimal hassle. That's a thumbs up too. 40 cents per minute for 50 kilowatts. So, let's see what the, uh... all right. So we're at 70% here on this. And let's see what we're gonna pull kilowatt wise. 40. So it jumps to 40 a lot faster than the Electrify America did that first time I plugged in. Let's see what we got. Car is saying 35. Uh, the machine is saying 40. There's still 30 something, saying 30 something. So we're at 71%. I'm not exactly sure what this thing could actually pull if it was fully going. I'm not that worried about the speed. I think this is uh, the third of three that we, we tried, 39.4. So we're at 80% or almost at 80% battery. So I'm gonna go thumbs up on expected speed. This would be the one I would use if there were 12 other cars on the other ones and you just need to get something faster. Um, 40 kilowatts is still almost four times faster than I can charge overnight. If you were gonna plug in, walk across the street to Jimmy John's or Starbucks, um, stay on this side and go to Quick Trip, I think uh, you'd be in good shape. Um, amenities, again, uh, things that I didn't see at the last two spots. We've got Jimmy John's across the street, the Starbucks, there's an Arby's. Um, playing Frogger across this road isn't necessarily what I want, would want to do, um, but they are close. Um, there's also a, a a restaurant I think here that you could go to or Quick Trip and KFC are on this side of the street. So uh, there's definitely things to do. Um, they do have some Clipper Creek chargers here that are, um, we're gonna check these, we're gonna check these in a bit to see what the, what the deal is with those. But um, anyway, more options if all the other ones are full. So amenities, thumbs up. One thing that I find crazy, so this is a ABB machine, um, Terra 53. Um, the screen on this thing is not terrible for living through winters here in Toma. Um, it's very easy to read, as opposed to that, um, the one uh, I went to, the last one I went to that I can think of that was really bad. Just sun bleached, really hard to read. This one is actually not too bad. So uh, thumbs up to ABB for the screens that they put in their chargers because uh, it could be, and I've experienced, much worse. Again, this is not the place where you would bring your Ionic 5 to plug in and charge and rip. This thing is, all the other ones are full or down and I just need something to get back on the road to get to the next stop to Mauston or to Black River Falls or whatever. Um, so in that way, it, it's fulfilling its purpose. So there is a trash can. The squeegee uh, has been absconded with and there was no juice in there. So I don't think that's a new thing. I don't know if I'm gonna have to move, but we're gonna try it.
pretty clean for living outside. It says charging on here. So my, the car is reading three kilowatts, so, or bouncing between three and four kilowatts. So it's probably um, a 6.6 .6 split between those two. Um, so you're getting three, 3.3. 3. But anyway, again, this is like a bonus that it's free. And just another option in case there are a lot of cars here, because I know I have seen times when um, people were saying that the Electrify America and Tesla ones are full. Or if you can't go to the Tesla ones, don't have an adapter, don't have a car that they're authorized to do, um, then you got other options here in Toma for electrons. I, we've got plenty of juice to get home, and that's our next stop. So we'll plug into a, our, our garage charger tonight uh, to get back up to 80% when we get back home. So that's my next charge. I won't see you there, but I'll see you at the next fast charge.